Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. I'm Sophie, and today I'm going to show you how to add multiple strokes to text, objects, or lines. To do that, we start with some text. You can use whichever word, size, and font you want. I chose to write outline and use the text font Arial Rounded. Since you only can apply multiple strokes to curves and not to text, you have to convert this. To do that, you have to select the text and open the three dots menu in the upper left corner. Here you can click on Convert to Curves. After you have done this, the individual letters of the words get converted into a curve and all the curves are combined in one group. You want to change that to be only one curve for the whole word, so that the changes get applied to everything and not just one letter. To do so, you have to select all the letters. You can do that by going into the Layers menu and then clicking on the arrow next to the group. This shows all the elements of the group. You then select every letter and go back to the three dots menu. Here you click on the Add button. As you can see, all the letters have been combined in one single curve. You can now move that curve out of the group and delete the group. Now you are left with only the curve of the word. To change the color of the first stroke, you have to open the color menu. I already made a color palette for this tutorial, so I'll open the swatches to get to that. I'm going for a rainbow design and we'll start with green. When you then open the strokes menu, you can see some options for the stroke appearance. Here you can change the width of the stroke. I'm going for a stroke with a width of 10 pd. As you can see right now, the stroke is on top of the filling. To change that, you have to open the advanced setting and change the order of the fill and the stroke. Now the stroke is behind the fill. Just like that, you can add a single stroke to any object, text or drawing you are making. When you want to add a second stroke, you have to open the appearance menu. Make sure that you have selected your text. When you have done that, you can see the fill and the stroke of the object. On the top of this menu, you can also see two plus signs. The one on the right adds a new fill color. We won't need that for this tutorial, so I'm going to delete that again. The other one adds a stroke to the object. Once you created a new stroke, you can again change the color of the stroke. Make sure that you change the color of the stroke and not the fill by selecting the ring in the upper left corner of the color menu. After choosing the color, you can also change the line width of the stroke. Since I want all the outlines to have the same thickness, I'm choosing 20 pt. As before, you have to change the order of the stroke again so that this second stroke is behind the first one. You can repeat this process as often as you like, adding a new stroke, changing the color of it, then selecting the width of the stroke, and at last changing the order so that it is behind all the strokes from before. I'm adding some blues, purple, pink, red, orange, and yellow, outlines to finish my rainbow outline. Once you are done with the complete outline, you can also copy it to other objects. To do so, just draw a rectangle, for example. Then select the text that you just outlined and go to the three dots menu and click on copy. After that, you have to select the rectangle and go back to the three dots menu. Here you have to click on the paste style button. As you can see, you now have the rainbow outline around the rectangle. For the rectangle, you can also choose to have no fill color. Then the outline is also visible inside the rectangle. Using the same method, you can apply this outline with multiple strokes to any object. Also, for example, on lines you draw. If you want to use this outline also in other projects or in different files, you can save it as a new style. To do that, you just have to select the line, for example, and then go to the Styles menu. When you click on the menu on the top right, you get the option Add Style from Selection. Click on that. When you now scroll down, you can see the style that you just have created. When you now draw something, an ellipse for example, you can just click on the style to apply it to it. As seen before, you can also add the style to lines you draw. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any further questions, just put them in the comments. Have a nice day and see you soon.